All right, and I'm back. Let's start it again. So we are still invading the Ethiopians. Epsinas. All right, and I'm over 13 spies, so let's go and swap this for... I don't need a lot of spies to maintain this. I'll try, let's say, 65, sure. I'll try that out, see how it goes. So 16 ticks out of... Um, that I have queued up here, so but that'll fill up easily with these ones. So infantry firepower, broad offensive, timed artillery. Oh, let's see what else we need. Um, aviation, fire training. Probably we'll have to go to some of those later on, but for now, ooh, go there, go there. You go there. And you go there. You go there. And bomber wing. Go. I should actually just open this up for air units. See, I have this guy and this guy. There we go. And let's encircle. You guys go up there. Bit of a loose encircling on this place, but yeah, you can stick there. You don't need to go anymore. Uh, still just the one guy there. These dudes, I'm going to want them uh, once they finish arriving. I don't want to rush the HQs in. So, I'm going to want them to go this way. All the sh hmm. yeah, Just all of those guys there. So, let's see if I can do that. Get them lined up. These guys push. Push. Get the bomber. Yeah, I've got this still. And let's just start softening up the capital, because that's the only thing he can reach. Let's see, still just radar is the inefficient tech. You can still research inefficient tech, but it does. It's a little less efficient until, of course. Oh, 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 how dare you? Stop it. Stop it. I'm gonna win. Yeah, I might as well just keep attacking. Normally I like to get an encirclement on this place and then it just butchers them, but... It's really easy to beat Ethiopia. In there. So, yeah, I've got an envelopment now because I have enough directions that I'm attacking him from. So that's creating a penalty of 20%. And I'm doing, you know, breakthroughs and tactics, stuff like that, that are helping my chances. There we go. So. He's gonna fall pretty quick now. I don't need any of you guys bombing anymore. Though the experience would be nice, so keep bombing him. Yeah, you can simply, if you want to be gamey, just take over all of these territories and just surround their capital, and then whenever you feel like uh, finishing them off, after you've you you've gotten plenty of bonuses from the bonus production, because once we go to peace, I am not going to be able to have like in heavy industry emphasis, but that feels a little too gamey, so. 
but that is something that you can do. And people keep retreating into Adazaba. So, might as well. Let's just keep the attacks up. And won that one almost instantly. Just a bunch of HQs running in here. So, go there. bombing him there. See, their organization is just trashed. Uh-oh. What's this? What is this? I have inefficient stuff going on. I need to queue more things up. Um, usually as like a bit of a surplus for production, I'll go and queue up some infrastructure. So, the infrastructure in southern Italy is pretty bad. But this port here ships out a lot of stuff, but the infrastructure is not that good, so often I will essentially upgrade a path uh, that will be more efficient for the supplies to travel, so that my throughout put through the port gets better, and the throughout put on neighboring provinces to your capital are actually unlimited, so you can basically start from here, one territory away, and just max out this, the infrastructure. So, it helps to have some of this if you're gonna, you know, not be as efficient as you could with your building things. So this gives me something to idle my, um, to idle my stuff with. So then some of it's going into these. They do take up quite a bit of IC, but they don't take too long to build each point of anyway. Ever debating, uh, yeah, I should queue up some infantry at this point. Oh, we won. Look at that. I'll slow it down a bit so I can get rid of these pop ups. Do, do, do. And yeah, all my effects are dropped down. So now comes the, the fun part of Hearts of Iron where you get to plan and plot. So let's see, you are the highest guy here. So let's take first Corpa de Armata. And he has these guys here with him. He has a mountain special forces unit. And let's see. Because I'm actually going to keep all of these guys here. Usually you would want to haul them back up here, but I'm actually going to build up enough troops up in Italy that. You know, I might not have quite enough to really kick the crap out of France, but I will have enough to deal with what's going on here. And so let's go and find out what I want to do with these guys. Um, yeah, it's all desert, mostly. And this one has a, this is a pretty tough group of mine, so... I'll mostly keep him here. I guess I'll keep ye, you there. Let's put one guy there. Put one guy there. And then another guy there. Um, go back. Second. Corporate de Armata. You go there. I want the fast guy with the HQ there. Put you there. And... Yeah, sure, one more there. Third. This one's got hardly anybody on it. Um, hmm. yeah, let's just stick them all there. I could strategically deploy them. That would be faster, but... Fourth. Lots of militia. He's going to be really fast. So let's start putting guys up here. Have the uh, infantry dude there, and one of them, him there. Next we have. No, I already did four. This guy, Let's stick him there. All three of them just on this territory, because then they can go to a bunch of different places. these guys I'm going to bring to the south. One, 
too. Yeah, I'll put you there. And yeah, put you there. Because my neighboring infrastructure um, kind of gets bad. Though this stuff is all damaged. Um, one of the things that I'm going to do when you take a look at a territory that generates you resources, you will notice that one of the penalties is bad infrastructure. This is especially true for this one, where the abysmal infrastructure is horrible on it. So, I am actually going to... Probably didn't need that much infrastructure on it, but... Yeah, there we go. So this should help improve the, uh, the resource generation in these spots. Not by a huge amount, but whatever and yeah you go there I can now bring my planes back um, and stick one there I'll speed it up to speed three while I'm doing this no I didn't want the ships one of these guys and yeah I'll put you guys there oh Mobilized. Don't want to mobilize. I'm good. High taxes. Don't really want high taxes. That'll make my people hate me a little more. So now, how is it here? I can start. I'm stopping that. Stopping that. Uh, let's go. Common turn. Russia threat. I'm gonna make the big bad red monster. Everyone will hate him and that will be quite useful. Um, priority, yeah, uh, just these three. And I'll probably want, I mean the mod does have a lot of things going on for certain events to fire. Like I know Albania can end up going to war with you when you try to annex them. Um, there is a way to get Yugoslavia and the Axis really early on and kind of what I'm doing will help with that. I've seen Yugoslavia get involved with the Axis in like 38, 39 just because he was terrified of Russia and France and the UK and I've actually had Spain join the Axis before Poland got declared on. Therefore the Spanish were actually invading the French from the south and then the the, uh, the British were invading the Spanish from Gibraltar. Bit of a messy situation there. Um, let's see. Intervention, yes. Change in constitution. Yeah, I don't really want to do any of the other ones. At least I don't think so. Um, standing army. Yeah. I really want to change the constitution. So Spanish intervention. Okay. So everyone's moving around. Some ships there. Um, it is actually a pretty viable option to release Ethiopia as a puppet because at least then they will. Um... Oh, we got the treaty. Leave the naval treaties. Yes, please. And then I can do some reconstructions. And these are cheap. They'll make the battleships better. Not cost a lot of IC to do it. Won't take too long either. So I don't mind doing that. I lost where I was. Um, oh yeah, I was originally, originally talking about you can send spies to support your political party within like Albania. So if you're gonna try and fire the event, if your party has enough popularity in this guy here, he will be more likely to join peacefully. But hey, he's a one province guy, I'm not gonna bother with that. Um, I probably will want to increase the threat of Yugoslavia so he'll be easier to declare war on. So it's not a bad idea to just straight out annex Yugoslavia, even though it will generate a lot of revolt risk. It won't be that good compared to puppeting. 
it does make more sense for Italy to do it because as Italy you can get a land bridge going to uh, your your land in Albania and Greece so it's a lot more tempting to build that land bridge let's speed it up a little more and let's see what do we got for submarines I should probably shift some of my subs around I got two there Two there, one there, but you, one there, and one there. So, I'm going to merge some of my subgroups into pairs. Easier to manage for me. Yeah, a pair there, a pair there, a pair there. Everyone's up gunning their stuff. Merge you two together. Merge you two together. And... Let's see. Yeah, I don't have any of my battleships just lingering around because they're all either being upgraded or built right now. When they do, then I will get to try and design a fleet for them to be in. I'll worry about that when that time comes. Because yeah, I can easily make Yugoslavia very threatening because I have um, I have claims on his land and that makes it a lot easier to go to war because you will become you know, threatening to each other pretty quick. So all I need is um, 20 neutrality to go to war with him. And it's already pretty low. So it's not terribly difficult to do. The problem with going to war with Yugoslavia is his independence is guaranteed by Germany. So I might have to end up waiting to see if that specific event fires. Um, let's see, what do we have for cavalry? I know I have a bunch of yeah, these guys. These are my cavalry divisions, technically. I'm gonna move them over here for now, so I can spot them easier. Oh no, no, no! I wanted these guys. You can stay there, because I will upgrade these cavalry to motorized, so that they can all go fast. Even though it's perfectly fine to keep the cavalry there, um, but you do gain a lot of extra speed by doing that. It does make the easy units cost more, but oh well. Um, government, sure, makes my party less popular, but oh well. And then I can squeeze them in there. Yeah, let's do that. So, motorized, and, yeah, light armor. Motorized, light armor. Motorized, light armor. There we go. And then just mash on this low priority button until it, they show up. There. And that's going to be it for this part here. I will be continuing it on next one. Take care. See you guys then.